Your student summer vacation, one to remember. We have some ideas for you. Yeah, local travel expert Jennifer Masali joins us with a family getaway idea. Thanks for joining us this of morning. Of course, thanks for having me. Okay, so you have some ideas for some places that you wouldn't normally think of during this time of year. Uh, yeah, so a lot of times people think let's just go to the beach or let's just go somewhere tropical, but yeah. I like um, British Columbia for summer vacation. Um, it's just still on the West Coast, so the plane ride is not that long. You can just fly up to Vancouver. From Vancouver, you can hover, head over to Vancouver Island, and you can do a lot of like wildlife expeditions. If you're very outdoorsy, if you have yeah. kids that like to be outside, like to be in the water, British Columbia is a great place to go. You can get on a boat and go see bears and eagles and things like that, do a lot of fishing and uh, boating. Yeah, it's that looks a, beautiful. A bike oh, I know. Gosh. Yeah, beautiful place. To visit, you do need a passport, so you have to have your kids' passports mm -hmm. uh, ready to go. Oh, I never even thought of that for kids too. I always just think, make sure I have my passport. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely you have the whole family. Kid behind. Uh, well, and it, ta and it takes yeah. a long time to be able to get your passport yeah. sometimes, so you got to be proactive about that. You do. Okay, Jennifer, what other places are, do you recommend? Uh, what about? Uh, uh, Park City, Utah. So think about places where you would go ski in the wintertime. In the summertime, they're great like outdoor recreation areas. So Park City, Utah, there's a shuttle from the airport straight into the town. There's a lot of free um, transportation around town, so you don't have to rent a car or anything. It's kind of a fun place to go. Again, if you want to be outdoorsy, if you want to raft, if you yeah. want to um, do zip lining, if you want to hike or see wildlife. Also, they do a really like fun, old-fashioned kind of 4th of July parade and fireworks and stuff like that. So it's kind of one of those old-timey towns that's great to visit. So think about those kind of off-season places. Yeah, and a, might... and a pretty quick uh, plane ride from here in Sacramento, too. Oh, yeah, to get to Utah is not that, not that far. Okay, now what about if we just want to relax? <laughs> we don't want to be all outdoorsy. <laughs> if you don't want to be outdoorsy, say you want to go do some fun in the sun, um, do like uh, Jamaica or do like the Dominican Republic. The mm. Bahia Principe, Principe Resorts has a great uh, sale going on right now. 50% off, kids stay free, go to an all-inclusive resort, eat, play in the water, play in the yeah. sun, chill in a you know a lounge chair on the beach and just have a great time. How do it's they nice. take advantage of that deal for kids uh, free? Because that's great. So when you book it, like say you book it through, I think uh, Bahia you have to do uh, through United Vacations or maybe Delta Vacations. Okay. Then you have usually a code or they just give it to you automatically when you put in the amount of people that you're yeah. taking. And it's yeah. so nice to know that these places are affordable. I think anybody would look at that and go, there's no way I could afford to bring the kids, but really in hindsight, there are absolutely ways to get around that. Absolutely, the Dominican is pretty affordable for families. Again, you have to have a passport, but yeah, yeah. If you have those passports ready to go and you want to go somewhere tropical, absolutely, it's a great deal. Any other places you recommend? Oh, Costa Rica oh. for families. Have you That's been there kind before? Of the dream. Have you been? I have not, but Me I either. know friends who have been. Generally, people go that I know at least, they go for like spiritual retreats or oh. like a friend of mine went for a breakup retreat. She <laughs> had a really tough breakup, but they honestly never want to come back home. That's yeah. the truth. Like, we don't want to come back. It's super eco-friendly. I think like 98% of their energy is renewable resources. Oh, wow. And there are just world-class beaches. There is rainforest. Oh, there are volcanoes. So you can get this whole experience. There's sloths. Like if you want to see um, animals and things like that, if you want to do like those treetop expeditions where you're walking on those boardwalks tall, sure. you know, up in the trees. Yeah, I have. Really, I had a really friend cool. who uh, went to Costa Rica for two weeks and they actually stayed in a tree house. Yeah. Oh, wow. And That's they so said cool. it was really affordable. A lot cheaper than if they would have Stay in the hotel. Right. Oh, that's, I mean, that's a yeah. plus. And there's yeah. probably highs and lows, right? Like in terms of seasons, specific to Costa Rica. Like, uh, what would uh, be a low, like, when do you not want to go to Costa Rica? So, honestly, what the Costa Rica people say is there is no low season. Oh, okay. So, right. Costa Rica, the weather is very, very um, unchanging. It's very similar all year round. Okay, so, um, right now, summer vacation, so everything is a little bit of a high season. Of course, in the wintertime, when people want to get out of our bad weather, they'll go down to a more tropical area, but there's never a bad time to go to Costa Rica. Awesome. Yeah. My goodness. I have well, all these mini trips planned. I need to, to like, cancel it all and just <laughs> hit up some of these places you recommended. Yeah. I shall be back next hour oh, to talk perfect. about some adult only yes, places? Yeah, not okay. adult only, but places that might be great for, you know, you and your hubby or Singles. you and a friend, uh -huh. a group of friends, something uh -huh. like that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> or your best friend. Your best friend. We're, we're best friends. For best friend day. You don't, you don't have to <laughs> Girl story of my life. <laughs> She's not a big named athlete uh, for the San Francisco.